Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Dorothy. I'm a professional astrologer and 27 years now. Come find me on the web at nhastrologer.com. I do everything a professional astrologer would do. Readings, classes, free forecasts. So today I want to talk about the week of November 14th all the way through November 20th. It's so hard to be saying November. I don't know where the year went. It just kind of flew by which is part of what I want to talk about today and the feeling of Neptune in the sign of Pisces, you know, because to me, this through this week, um, I know we have a full moon on the 14th and I've already created a separate video for that. So Monday the 14th, separate video about that super full moon in the sign of Taurus, oh, exalted in the sign of Taurus, meaning we have a lot of opportunities to really focus on what we value. And when I recorded that video, it was before the election results had come in, um, even before the election day, uh, now the after effect is like we really are focusing a lot on what we value and a lot of people are uh, reconsidering. We see a lot of that Uranus and Aries going on with people doing a lot of protests all over our country and in the world and there's a lot of things to really uh, kick things up a step. Uranus and Aries is always about being revolutionary. It's been in that sign for quite a long time now and so we're really feeling the push for some shifts and changes. Now in our daily lives, which is something I want to talk about in just a sec, um, there's all we, all we have this week to look at is the moon cycles and what's going on with the moon because there's not a lot in uh, big activity this week which is really nice, right? The biggest thing is Neptune on Saturday the 19th is going direct because it's been station it's been retrograde for a while it's been stationary for about a week so we've been feeling a little bit disillusioned maybe lied to um, feeling a little foggy we're not clear about what our future is and we're all feeling um, not all of us some people are very happy but still not understanding what our future would even look like so honestly what do we do with Neptune and Pisces? <laughs> well, how appropriate was that? The camera went out of focus and came back in. I swear, my hands are right here. I didn't do a thing. <laughs> that is a perfect example. Thank you, Spirit. Shows us exactly what Neptune and Pisces is. We, we always have a little fog. We can sort of see things, but we can't always see things clearly. The thing is, is we're not going to see clear-cut, sharp edges yet. For a while, we have to realize that we're living in a world that is uh, a little unclear. Now, what do you do with that? I mean, how practical is that? What kind of information is this for you to, to take with you? I'm thinking, you know, other ways that, that this is manifesting and showing itself in the world is uh, in uh, up in the Dakotas where they're, the natives are fighting for our water, fighting for the Missouri River, trying to keep an oil line from going right underneath this river. If it breaks, it pollutes water for millions of people. Neptune in Pisces is water. The Uranus in the sign of Aries is where we're feeling rebellious and where we need to stand and make our changes. So there is a lot going on um, in the big, big picture. You have to choose what causes are important for you and what clarity you want to see and what things you just want to um, put on those rose-colored glasses and let things be what they are. <laughs> I don't know why my camera won't stay focused, but we're talking about Neptune, so that's a clear, a clear uh, signal, right? It is. How about I do a little bit real quick, uh, just for the next two, three minutes, I'll talk about the zodiac sign that the moon is in because there's nothing big and significant going on this week because we had enough of it last week. So this week, um, Tuesday the 15th and Wednesday the 16th with the moon in the sign of Gemini, that energetically means is that uh, emotionally how, it doesn't matter if your moon's in that sign or not, it's where the moon is, we want to talk things through. So if you're feeling emotional about stuff, the really most important thing to do is to talk to your friends, neighbors, siblings, whomever. Just talk things out. And if you're not a big talker, then write stuff out. All right? And that's the way that we can move through emotional problems or things that are really bothering us over this week of November 14th to the 20th. Okay? And that's on 
the 15th and the 16th, that's where that steps in. On the night of the 16th, the moon does move into the sign of Cancer. So the moon will be in her own sign, caring, nurturing. I just want to go home. I, you know, you out in the world and then you come home. And when you come home and you, like, you put on your sweats or your jammies and, you know, you just have the food that you love and it's warm inside your house or wherever you live, it's really comfy. That's the moon in the sign of Cancer, and we have that on Thursday and Friday, the 17th and the 18th. Again, there are no big, big aspects going on this week, so with the exception of the Neptune thing I just mentioned. So Thursday and Friday, we have opportunities just to really reconnect with what is important, what is our roots, what is grounding us. I know the country is a, a country because we were founded during the Cancer time of year, so this can be... Um, a little more of an opportunity for people to finally settle into what is and what has happened in our country. On Saturday again Neptune goes direct and the moon by then is in the sign of Leo so over the weekend Saturday and Sunday with the moon in the sign of Leo the 19th and the 20th these are wonderful opportunities to just go out and play party plan your Thanksgiving plan holiday stuff because the moon and Leo is an awesome time to be creative and to just step into some fun and just have some fun and decorating, exciting. It's just a good time of the month, every month, when that moon's in Leo because we just want our attention and we want to play and have fun. All right. So a simple, easy forecast this week. So yeah, I'm, that's just a simple, easy forecast. Nothing major except that Neptune stuff, which keeps making us all foggy. <laughs> Did see it didn't go out of out of focus this time anyways thank you guys for watching please share if you share this video you are entered into an opportunity to get a free reading for me for 20 minutes and um, I'm gonna leave you with that thank you very much and um, blessings inhale exhale we'll get through this and however we're supposed to all right blessings namaste